Speedway on Screen Sport takes a break from its traditional World Championship International and Test Match action to come to Cradley Heath in the Midlands for the prestigious event, the Golden Hammer of 1991. So before we get underway with the track action, let's have a word with one or two of the leading contestants in tonight's lineup. Jan Patterson must be one of the hot favourites for tonight. Any extra pressure with this being on your home track? There's always a lot of pressure when I ride here because I want to do, do well in front of my home crowd. So it doesn't matter if I do league meeting or this sort of meeting, I still want to do well in, in every single race. Looks like a fabulous lineup. It could grace the world final itself, this one. Yeah, it could. It's, it's, it's absolutely brilliant, you know, and it'll be a fantastic meeting and even if you finish down the way because it, there's so many good riders here that it's just great. Now, the Cradley boys must start as hot favourites on the home track tonight, but what other riders should we be looking out for? Um, I don't really know. I mean, I've only been to, this is only my second time to Cradley. Uh, last time when Ipswich were here, I was injured, unfortunately. So, um, um, I don't know. I haven't really seen much racing around Cradley. I suppose you've got to look at people like Sam Malenko and obviously, like you say, the Cradley riders, Kelvin Tatum, Hans Nielsen. I mean, it, it's such a strong field, you know, 1-16. to 16, Like I say, anyone has a good meet and they're going to go and win it. So we get underway straight away with heat number one of the 1991 Golden Hammer at Cradley Heath, Dudleywood Stadium to be precise, 338 metre circuit, and of the 16 riders taking part in tonight's field, eight are already through to the World Championship semi-finals. There's one of them in the red helmet colour, Sudden Sam Romalenko from, of course, the US of A. Rise for Wolverhampton just across the way from Cradley Heath, so he'll have bags of support from the Monmore Green fans. The full lineup for the opening race, Sam Malenko in red, Chris Louie, who we've just heard from, the current World Under-21 champion, he's in blue. Alan Graham rides for Cradley Heath, he's in white, and also for Cradley Heath, but from Denmark, Gert Hamburg is in yellow and black on the outside grid at gate number four. That's the full lineup for heat number one. So two English riders, one from Denmark and one from America. So thankfully the weather not affecting this meeting. There's lots of rain around in the West Country, but here in the Midlands we're clear at the moment. And just a few seconds away from the start of this meeting. The tapes rise on the 1991 Gold Hammer meter gets underway and Hanberg comes right on the outside of Sam Romalenko. But Sam comes back underneath him, so Romalenko in red leads from Gerd Hamburg in second place. Alan Graham third and Chris Louie in fourth position at the moment. But all action on the first and second turn is Hanberg came round the outside of Hermelenko, but it was short-lived as Sam Hermelenko drove back underneath him. So, sudden Sam, as he's known to the Wolverhampton fans, is in pole position and looking set for three points, and it's the two Crady riders who are looking for second and third, respectively. Hanberg coming under pressure from the veteran Alan Graham so nice to see this fella still racing speedway after the illness he suffered back in 86. But it's Sudden Sam who leads from Gert Hamburg still, Alan Graham third, and Chris Louis tailed off in fourth position. So it is Sam Romlenko who sets off proceedings here at Dudleywood with three points in the opening race. Two to the man who finished in second place, Gert Hamburg, and one for Alan Graham who finished in third place. So heat number two sees Calvin Tatum red, Joe Screen blue, Billy Hammer white, and Henrik Gustafsson in yellow and black. And into that first turn they drive, and it's Gustafsson on the outside who leads from Billy Hamill. Gustafsson just has the edge from Billy Hamill in second place. Calvin Tatum third, and Joe Screen fourth. But it was Henrik Gustafsson 
who drove round the pack on the first turn. And this fella, no matter where he races, whether it's Poland, whether it's Denmark, whether it's Sweden or whether it's England, 150% he puts in. Still Billy Hamill, of course, riding on his home circuit here in England, comes from America, second season for them, and, uh, well, one of the greatest prospects, I think, in British B, well, along with the rider in front, Hangman Gustafsson. So still Gustafsson leads as he takes the flag for one more lap in heat number two. Billy Hamill tucked in nicely behind him, Calvin Tatum third and Joe Screen fourth. So round the final two bends, straighten it up to take the win. Hank Augustuson gets there. Second place is Billy Hamill. In third place is Calvin Tatum. But good old baby-faced Hank Augustuson, he gets to win in heat number two. He gets three points, two for Billy Hamill and one for Calvin Tatum. And that is heat number two. So week number three in the first time for Yano Peterson there in red. Hans Nielsen, of course, his fellow countryman. Recently, of course, they took that World Pairs final. In white is Martin Dugard, and in yellow and black from America rides for Craigley Heath, Greg Hancock in gate number four. So as we've heard, Yano Peterson with a lot of pressure on his shoulders, wants to do well for the Craigley fans. Let's see what happens when the tape drives on heat number three. The way they go into that first turn of the first to shop is Greg Hancock on the inside, Jan Peterson on the inside, and Hans Nielsen third. But it was Greg Hancock who rose to the occasion, driving around the pack on the first and second turn. And this will be a great, great scalp for him. He's been hold on. Jan Peterson still second, Hans Nielsen third, and Martin Dugard in fourth position. Well, all eyes are on the front two as Peterson tries to make up ground on Greg Hancock. Craigley Heath are certainly doing very well in the Surfer League Division 1 along with Wolverhampton at the moment. And these two riders in first and second place are certainly helping their calls. Hancock still leads, Jan Peterson second, Hans Nielsen third. We enter the final lap of heat number three. Greg Hancock, it looks like he's going to hold on. This would be a great scalp for him. Round the final two turns. Peterson trying the outside line, but he's not going to do it. It's Hancock that gets a win. Second place is Yano Peterson. Third place, Hans Nielsen. And this young fella in yellow black must be certainly pleased with life. Greg Hancock collects a win and three points. Two points to his fellow teammate here at Craigley who shakes his hands, Yano Peterson. And the former world champion, Hans Nielsen, has to settle with one point in heat number three. So heat number four, Gary Havelock rides in red, Paul Thorpe in blue, Scott Smith in white, and Sean Wilson is in yellow black. That's the lineup for heat number four. Up go the tapes, and it's Havelock who lifts slightly but brings that bike down. He's first into that first turn. Havelock and Sean Wilson together. Sean Wilson just with the edge on the outside of Gary Havelock. Of course, you saw on screen sport win the British Speedway final back in May. So Sean Wilson leads, Gary Havelock second, Paul Thorpe third, and Scott Smith back in fourth place. So as they come out, it was Havelock who drove in and Sean Wilson who went round in that order, but it's still Wilson who leads. Gary Havelock getting very, very close to him. Havelock now comes underneath Sean Wilson. A little bit of a gap left by Sean the Braun, and Havelock says, thank you very much, I'm coming through. Still Paul Thorpe in third place. So, a brilliant manoeuvre by the British Speedway champion, Gary Havelock. He's brought him through to pole position here in heat number four. Sean Wilson still second, and Paul Thorpe third. So, all Bradford riders in heat number four who've got the pole positions, but it's Gary Havelock that gets a win. Second place for Sean Wilson, and third place for Paul Thorpe. But a good three points for Gary Havelock in heat number four. Let's take a look at that manoeuvre again as Sean Wilson goes out slightly wide and Gary Havelock comes through with graceful ease. What a great manoeuvre by the British Speedway champion. Welcome back to Cradley Heath for heat five of the 1991 Golden Hammer individual speedway meeting here from Dudley Wood. And in this lineup, we see Sean Wilson coming out for two on the trot. He rides in the red helmet colour. In blue, winner of heat number one, Asam Amlenko. In white, Calvin Tatum. On the inside in yellow black is Martin Dugard. That's a lineup for heat number five. Three lights on the bike's red. 
the tight drive, the clutch is dropped and into that first bend they roar and it's Sam Ravalenko and Martin Dugan there, Dugan on the inside but out, Ravalenko comes underneath him and through the pole position, so Ravalenko leads, Dugan second. Dugan now coming under pressure from Calvin Tatum, these two you may recall recently formed a formidable pairing for England in that test match down at Paul, International Championship. I think number five, and Sun Sam is looking pretty good for his second win of the night. Ermelenko leads. Second place, Martin Dugard still from Calvin Tatum third. So, Sun Sam, poised, collected after that fateful year, fateful accident he's received just a couple of years ago. Thankfully, recovered fully from that to grace the speedway scenes again. And he's doing very, very nicely indeed here at Dudley Wood. He's coming up to collect three more points with graceful ease. So Romlenko wins, Dugard second, and Tatum third in that order in heat number five. Sam Romlenko, two rides, two wins. You're flying tonight. Yeah, thanks. I mean, I must admit, you know, we're trying out some new bikes, and, you know, it's really close to semifinal, and it's uh, really good to know that they're going. I'm having a little bit of trouble in the corners and, you know, fighting my way through the start. That last race, as you've seen, I didn't quite make the start, but I made the, the driving of the first turn, so it's, it's, it's doing well, and my next race is going to be tough, and um, the way it came out of the start, that one, I think I have a really good chance. So Luke Swiftly on to heat number six, which sees Paul Thornton in red, Yellow Peterson in blue, Chris Louie in white, and Billy Hamill on the outside gate number four. Billy Hamill looking superb form, so too is Yellow Peterson. Let's see what happens as the tape drives on heat number six. Away they got drive, and into that turn, and it's Chris Louie who hits the front. Chris Louie leads from Billy Hamill, cuts back underneath him, and Billy Hamill is there with Chris Louie. Louie just holds on. Hamill in second place. Yellow Peterson and Paul Thorpe together at the back, but all eyes are on this front too. It's Chris Louie leads. Of course, Chris, the current world under 21 champion for just a few more weeks. Billy Hamill in second place, through to the semi finals of the World Championship where he goes to the Rovno in Russia. So still, Chris Louie holds on, Billy Hamill second. Jan Peterson comes through to third place, but dropping points here if he can't make up any more ground on these two. Chris Louie leads as we enter the final lap of oh, Pete number six. Billy Hamill, has he got anything left? Jan Peterson in third place, and round the final two bends. It's going to be a good scout for Chris Louie. As he comes up to take the flag, it's Louis the wins. Second place in the yellow and black was Billy Hamill. Third for Yellow Peterson. But Chris Louie gets three points after failing to score in his first outing. So three points to Chris Louie, two to Billy Hamill, and one for Yellow Peterson. That's the result of heat number six. So coming into the line for heat number seven, Hans Nielsen, disappointing third first time out. He's in red, gate number one. Gary Havelock, winner first time out. In blue, gate two, Joe Screen, gate three in white, and Alan Graham on the outside in yellow and black, gate number four. This is heat number seven. The clutches are dropped to the bikes red, and into that turn they go, and it is Gary Havelock the leads. Havelock the leads at the moment in blue, coming underneath him, and Hans Nielsen drives underneath both white and yellow and black, so Hans Nielsen is through to second place. So, Nielsen through the second place, Joe Screen White with the leg trailing there, trying to come up underneath Hans Nielsen, has he got the speed? Gary Havelock way ahead at the moment, but it's Hans Nielsen having to contend with Joe Screen in third place behind him, with two laps gone of heat number seven. Gary Havelock looking set for his second win in this 1991 Golden Hammer, coming from Dudley Wood, home of Craig Lee Speedway. So as we enter the final lap of heat number seven, it is Gary Havelock with these, the force rise from Bradford in the Sun Valley Division One from Hans Nielsen in second. And this is going to be Gary's second win of the night. Comes up to take the flag. Havelock wins. Second place, Hans Nielsen. And Joe Screen in third place. So Gary Havelock now on six points as he wins heat number seven. Two points to Hans Nielsen and one point to Joe Screen. That's the result. Off it number seven. So moving swiftly on to heat number eight, which sees Gert Hanberg ride in red. Pendekal Gustafsson in blue. Greg Hancock 
winner of first time out in white, Scott Smith, yellow and black. This is the number eight. Up go the tights, and into that first turn they roar, and it's Gert Hamburg who leads the pack of the moment from Greg Hancock in second place. So Hamburg leads, Henkel Gustafsson comes underneath Greg Hancock. Hancock now in third place, and has Gustafsson got any speed to come up and take the man who, of course, rides here at Craigie Wood. Danny Wood for Craigie Heath in the British League. So Hamburg leads, and Gustafsson getting closer by the meter. Gustafsson second, Hancock third. And it looks like Hancock is going to drop points in heat number eight. So, Hanberg leads from Gustafsson second, Hancock third. Still Hanberg leads, but Gustafsson is just waiting for that one mistake as we enter the final lap of heat number eight. Gustafsson now trying to make up the ground on the final bounce of heat number eight. Hanberg leads, Gustafsson now trying, but he's not going to do it. Hanberg just holds on. Henkel Gustafsson has to be content with second place. And Greg Hancock back in third. So three points to Greg Han uh, to Gert Hanberg, two points to Henkel Gustafsson, and one to Greg Hancock. That's the result of beat number eight. So let's have a look then at the scoreboard. All riders having two outings, two unbeaten riders. Simon Malenko from America, Gary Havelock from England, Gert Hamburg and Henke Gustafsson both dropped one point there on five. And two riders on four, Greg Hancock and Billy Hamill. They both dropped two points. So they are asked the scores now for heat number eight. Join us for more Speedway after the break. Welcome back to Cradley Heath for heat number nine of this Gold Hammer 1991. Crowd settling in very, very nicely, enjoying the action as I'm sure you are. Don't forget screen sport, more sport, more choice. So, heat number nine, which is Billy Hummel riding in red, Scott Smith in blue, Sam Malenko so far beaten on six points, he's in white, and Hans Nielsen in your black, gate number four. That's the lineup for heat number nine. Scott Smith having two races on the trot. So, the bike's red, the green lights go on. And up got the tapes and into that first bend they roar and it's Ermelenko and Hans Nielsen together but Ermelenko just for the drop. Ermelenko suddenly is from Hans Nielsen. Billy Hamill also there has come underneath Hans Nielsen to the second place. And now can the high-flying young American put any pressure on his vast experience fellow countryman Ermelenko in white. Billy Hamill in red, the two riders to watch, Hans Nielsen in third place. Ermelenko so far unbeaten here at Dudley Wood. Looks so, so smooth on that machine. Handlebars very low down, as you see. Billy Hamill in second place. These two already through to the semi-finals of the World Championship. Billy Hamill going to Rovno, and Sam Ermelenko have the more preferred draw going to Abensberg in Germany. To try and get a place, of course, in that World Final in Gothenburg on August the 31st. The more increasing thoughts at the moment for this gold hammer is Ermelenko gets three points from heat number nine. Two points for Billy Hamill in second place. And Hans Nielsen has to be content with one point for finishing third. The result of heat nine. Heat ten sees Greg Hancock in red, Kevin Tatum in blue, Gary Havelock also unbeaten in white, and Chris Louie in yellow and black. That's the lineup for heat number ten. So the bikes start to rev as the green lights go on, and up they go. And the first one to show is the rider in blue, which is Calvin Tatum. Calvin Tatum leads, and Gary Howlock tucked in behind him in white. So Calvin Tatum leads, and now Hancock comes underneath. Gary Howlock who makes a dreadful mistake and goes back to fourth place. Now comes over and he overtakes Chris Louie, but it's Calvin Tatum who leads at the moment. Tatum leads. Second place, Greg Hancock. Third place, Gary Havelock in that order at heat number 10. So Tatum, of course, the current England Speedway captain. Still from Greg Hancock, who's getting very, very close. Hancock comes up alongside Calvin Tatum. All eyes are on him, and Hancock now comes up alongside him. Has he got the pace? On the inside is Calvin Tatum in blue. On the inside is Greg Hancock, who comes through to take the lead. Now, all of a sudden, comes through Gary Havelock as well to take second place. And what a final lap of heat number 10. 
And it is a great win for Greg Hancock in heat number 10. And through to second place comes Gary Havelock. Great Gary Havelock. for you. That was a fabulous race you've just had. Yeah, it was a pretty tough one. You know, I made a good start, but I was lifting all the way to the corner. I couldn't get my wheel down to uh, get in the position I wanted to get. So uh, I thought I got balked a bit on the first corner. and ended up going from first to second and then to third. And then I got pushed wide on this bend and nearly went to last. But then I just kept battling away. And uh, there wasn't a lot of track to ride with it, seeing as uh, Kelvin and uh, Greg were side by side. But um, Kelvin made a mistake and Greg got through and I managed to get through the gap as well. So it's only one point drop, so everything's going okay. So great action, great words from Gary Havelock. Congratulations to him and to Greg Hancock for some great speedway in heat number 10. Now we move on to heat number 11, which is Henk Augustusson in red, Martin Dugard in blue, Alan Graham in white, and Paul Thorpe in yellow and black. That's the one for heat number 11. Up go the tapes, and into that first turn, they rush, and the first one to show is Alan Graham in white, just get there. Alan Graham leads from Paul Thorpe in second place, and this is just a little bit of a surprise. Alan Graham leads. Paul Thorpe still second. Henrik Gustafsson third. One lap goal of heat number 11. And it's the veteran, Alan Graham, who leads, who suffered terribly from Hodgkin's disease in 1986 while he was on loan to Swindon in the British League. But he leads the pack at the moment. Paul Thorpe still second. Henk Augustusson third. And Martin Dugard fourth. Oh, Paul Thorpe. Looks over his shoulder, looks as though he's pulling up with mechanical problems. So it's Gustafsson who comes now through to second place. And Alan Graham will have his work cut out with one more lap to go. Heat number 11 to keep the young Swede out. Alan Graham leads. Henk Gustafsson second. There is the final two bends of heat number 11. Alan Graham, can he hold on from the challenge of Henk Gustafsson? Graham it is who just holds on. Henk Gustafsson in second place. And Martin Dugard third. So good win there for Alan Graham in white. He collects the three points. Two to Henry Gustafsson in second place. And Martin Dugard gets a one point to finish in third. A good win for Alan Graham in heat number 11. So heat number 12 sees Sean Wilson in red, gate one. Gert Hanberg in blue, gate two. Yellow Peterson in white, gate three. And Joe Screen in gate number four in yellow and black. That's the lineup for heat number 12. The race before the interval stage here in the 1991 Golden Hammer, sponsored by Club Core here from Craney. So they're being called in by the starting marshal. The green light goes on, the bike's red, the tape rise, the clutch drops, and into that first turn it is Yellow Peterson who's there. The white helmet of Yellow Peterson who leads. Second place is Gert Hamburg, tucked in nicely behind him. And this will be a 5-1 if Craney were racing, but it's all about points on the individual basis tonight. And Yellow Peterson leads in white. Good Hamburg, blue, second. Joe Screen, yellow, black, third. And Sean Wilson tailed him in fourth place. But there we see the familiar style of Yellow Peterson, who surely must be one of the favourites to go to Gothenburg for the world final. But he appears in the Abbotsburg semi-final. Second place is Gert Hamburg, fellow Dane, of course. He's also through to Abensburg with one more lap to go in heat number 12 before the interval stage here at Craigley, Craigley East Speedway. 338-metre circuit, and it's Yellow Peterson who's going to come up to check the win. It's Peterson who gets the flag, flag first. Second place in blue is Gert Hamburg, and then in third place was Joe Screen. So there we are at the interval stage, and a good win in heat number 12 for Yellow Peterson. Two points for Gert Hamburg and 1.2 Joe Screen. That's result of heat number 12. So we look at the scoreboard and just one unbeaten rider going into the interval, Samuel Malenko on nine points. Gary Hamlock dropped just one point, he's on eight. Three riders on seven, Gert Hamburg, Henk Augustusson and Greg Hancock. Two on six, and Billy Hamill and Yano Peterson. So it's very, very close on the tight top, but it's Samuel Malenko they've all got to beat. So we move swiftly on to week number 13, Joe Screen red, Greg Hank, uh, sorry, Greg Hancock blue, Paul Thorpe white, and Sam Malenko in yellow and black. This is heat 13. And into that first turn they speed as Sam Malenko drives around the pack with considerable ease. So it is, Malenko leads from Joe Screen in second place. Third place is Greg Hancock. So the one lap gone, it's Sun Sam who's Going to be the rider they've all got to beat tonight, and he looks in a 
the last of his own so far. Joe Screen behind him in red. Greg Hancock in third place. And Paul Thorpe in fourth, but with two laps gone, Joe Screen's going to have to pull something special out of the bag as he gets very, very close to Ermelenko. The Ermelenko leaves. Joe Screen now taking the outside line, cutting back on the inside. One more lap to go in heat number 13. Ermelenko leads from Joe Screen, from Greg Hancock in that order, and around the front of two bands of this particular heat, and surely Ermelenko set for three more points. It's Ermelenko that gets to win. Second place is Joe Screen, and pushing all the way, a great ride from the Bellevue Ace, and in third place is Greg Hancock. But there he is, from America, Sutton Sam gets three more points. He's on 12 after winning heat 13. Heat 14, Chris Louis Red, Sean Wilson Blue, Hank Augustusson White, and Sealson Yellow Black. This is Heat 14. Up on the tapes, and into that first turn they roar, and it's Hank Augustusson who's there. Augustusson in white leads, Hans Nielsen and Chris Louis in second and third place. Hans Nielsen now comes sweetly into second. So Hank Augustusson leads in white, Hans Nielsen second in yellow black, and Chris Louis in third in red. But it was Hank Augustusson who made a superb smooth sweet start as the tape throws. And into that first turn, he had a pole position. So Henry Augustusson leads from Hans Nielsen, of course, three times world speedway champion. 86 in Katowice, Poland. 87 in, of course, that two-day world final in Amsterdam. And 89 in Munich. But what about this young fella in pole position? What a sweet debut he made in Bradford last year in his first ever World Individual Speedway final. Now, of course, riding for Kings Lynn in the Sunlight League and Kumla in Sweden. And he's coming round as Shawnee to take the win in heat number 14. Hank Augustusson comes up to take the win. Second place is Hans Nielsen. Third place, Chris Louie. So it's Hank Augustusson who gets the three points. Two points to Hans Nielsen and one to Chris Louie. That's the result of heat 14. So heat number 15, which sees Scott Smith in red. Alan Graham, a good winner last time out. He's in blue. Yellow Peterson, white. Calvin Tatum, yellow and black. That's the lineup for heat number 15. The tapes ride, the those bikes roar into that first turn. And it is Alan Graham and yellow Peterson. And just look at Calvin Tatum coming around the outside. But it's Alan Graham with his nose in front. Alan Graham still leads. Yellow Peterson second. Scott Smith. Is in third place in the moment, but just look, all eyes are on this venture, and Alan Graham, who leads his pack. Yellow Peterson trying so, so hard to make up ground. Yellow Peterson trying to put every ounce of effort in to pack, catch Big Al, as he's known here in the Midlands. Big Al leads. Alan Graham, that is, of course, brother of Andy Graham, who races down there in Sussex for the Eastbourne Dogs. Well, this is Big Al who leads in blue. Yano Peterson still trying to make up ground. One more lap to go in heat number 15. Scott Smith still in third place. But all eyes are on the first two, and it's going to be Big Al Shawley who's destined for his second win of the night. He comes up to take the win. It's Big Al who wins. Second place, Yano Peterson. In third place is Scott Smith. But congratulations to Alan Graham. He didn't seem to have made the start, but he had his wheels in line as he went into that first and second turn, and he collects the three points for winning heat number 15. So heat 16 sees Martin Dugard red, Billy Hamill in blue, Gerd Hamburg white, and Gary Havelock in yellow black. That's the way they're up for heat number 16. White's red as the green lights go on, the tapes go up, and into that first turn they lead, and it's going to be the white army cutter who shows first, and Gert Hamburg who leads. Hamburg now coming under pressure from Billy Havel, but Hamburg still holds on. Billy Havel in blue in second place, Martin Dugard third. Gert Hamburg leads, one lap gone. Billy Havel trying to make up ground, but such a difficult rider to catch is Gert Hamburg. You may recall seeing him, of course, in that superb test match between Denmark and Sweden at Malmo, in which he, along with Hans Nielsen, provided some great speed reaction for the Danes. He still is. Gary Havelock trying to make up ground on Billy Hamill. Billy Hamill through to the World Championship semi-finals, where he goes to Rothno. Good luck to you, Billy. Gary Havelock sadly out of 
the World Championship after winning the British final. We're now entering the final lap of heat number 16, and it looks as though Gert Hamburg is set for a win in white. So Gert Hamburg coming round the final two bends. He comes up to collect the win. Billy Hamill has to be content with second place, and in third place is Gary Havelock. So three good points for Gert Hamburg for a win, two for Billy Hamill, and one for Gary Havelock. That's the result of heat number 16. All riders now having taken four outings, and the scoreboard still Sam Olenko on 12 points. Gert Hamburg and Henrik Gustafsson on 10. Gary Havelock, 9, and three riders on eight. Billy Hamill, Jano Peterson, and Greg Hancock all, of course, riding for Craig Heath. So it's Sam Romalenko they've all got to beat. And just wants one more point from his final outing to be sure of at least a runoff in the 1991 Gold Hammer Spiegel meeting here from Craig Heath. Join us for the conclusion of this meeting after the break. Heath for the conclusion of the 1991 Golden Hammer and heat number 17 next on the agenda could see the winner Sam Romalenko currently on 12 points if he gets a win or second he wins the title outright third he could be in for a possible runoff so Sam Romalenko goes in red Henrik Gustafsson is in blue he's on 10 points Gary Havelock white he's on nine and Yellow Peterson on the outside of yellow black he's on eight that's the lineup for heat number 17 and the quest for honors could be answered in the next two minutes Green light goes on. We wait for the tape to go up as they do, and into that first turn they all speed, and it is Urban Echoes in third place at the moment to the roars of the crowd as Shadow Peters to the leads. Gary Havelock second, Sam Urbanenko third. So are we in for a shock in heat number 17? Yellow Peterson flew as the tapes rose. He's on the outside gate and he's in pole position at the moment. Gary Havelock tucked in behind him, and Sam Urbanenko is third. Henkel Gustafsson back in fourth place. So, Sam Ermelenko is not finished yet in this quest for honours. We all thought he probably would pick up the points here, but he's having to work very, very hard, even to finish in third place. Yellow Peterson leads, Gary Avalon second, Sam Ermelenko third. This is where the battle lies. Can Sam make a very ground on Gary Havelock? Yellow Peterson leads, Havelock no. Coming under pressure from Sam Ermelenko, comes around the inside of Havelock. Has he got the pace as they come up to the line? Just long and close again, and Ermelenko's done it! Ermelenko has got second place. A great scrap for Ermelenko, which clinches the title of the 1991 Golden Hammer. Well, I tell you, that last race coming from gate one, it was a tricky start position to come out of. Not too many guys was making it from one, especially with the likes of Yano Pedersen on the outside and uh, Henrik Gustafsson next to me there. It was really tough, and uh, Gary Havelock was doing well as well out of gate three. And I knew I just had to squeeze in there somewhere in the first turn and at least get one to two places in the first turn. And it worked out that I, I was third and chasing Gary Havelock for a couple laps. But it really, I was concentrating on uh, making sure that Christofferson wasn't going to make a move on me. And uh, as soon as I knew that I pretty much had that under control, I just looked forward and seeing that I had a chance. And I went for it right to the outside in the last lap. And I got a lot of driving to turn one and two and down the back straight away. I lifted a bit, but I still had a bit. And Gary was good to give me the room going into turn three. And I just made a good sweep around three and four, and it, and it just pulled me over the finish line first. And I needed second place to win it, so I was looking for that. So congratulations to Sam Malenko, the 1991 Golden Hammer winner here at Crady. And we move swiftly on to heat number 18, where, of course, there's still places to be won here at Dudley Wood for second and third. Heat number 18 is Martin Dugard, red, gate one, Chris Louis, blue, gate two, Joe Screen, white, gate three, and Scott Smith in yellow and black in gate number four. So, just a few more points to be added for these riders. Nobody in contention for bronze or silver. This is heat number 18. So, into that first turn, all the bikes are out, and it's the white helmet colour of Joe Screen who leads at the moment. Also coming through is Scott Smith in yellow and black, and Chris Louie in third place coming underneath Scott Smith, but not doing it on that bend. So, it's Joe Screen that leads. Scott Smith having a very, very good outing indeed in yellow and black. The young reserve here for Craig the Heath in the Sunbite League Division 1, who's holding Chris Louie at bay at the moment. Martin Dugard is pulled up with mechanical problems, so three riders only. Joe Screen still leads, of course, currently in the Under-21 World Championship. Rise for the Bellevue Aces in the Sunbite League Division 1. Still Scott Smith holding on the second place, and if he can keep out Chris Louie, that will be one hell of a scout for him. 
Still, Scott Smith holds on. Chris Lilly in third place. Still world under 21 for just a few more weeks. Rides for Ipswich. But it looks like Joe Screen has got it all sewn up in this particular race. It's some minor places. It's Scott Smith comes up and holds on to second place and gets a valuable scalp over Chris Lilly. So the winner, Joe Screen, heat number 18 quite easily. But more importantly, for the local fans here at Dudley Wood, it was Scott Smith who gets a very creditable second place and two points. And Chris Lowy in third place has to be content with one point. So we move on to heat number 19, the penultimate race, barring any runoffs in this Golden Hammer of 1991. is Alan Graham, winner of his previous two outings. He's in red, gate number one. Greg Hancock, he's in blue, he's on eight points. Sean Wilson, White, he's on two points, and Billy Howell on the outside in yellow and black, he's also on eight points. So, still in contention for bronze and silver positions as we go into heat number 19. Well, just taking their time to settle. Started Marshall calling the last one in, which is Sean Wilson. Green light goes on, the engine's rev, the tape's rise, the clutch is dropped, and into that first turn they all go, and it's Sean Wilson who leads at the moment. Sean Wilson leads from on the outside in yellow and black Billy Hamill. So Sean Wilson leads, Billy Hamill second, Alan Graham third. Ah, tragedy on the third and fourth turn is there. Three riders come down, the right helmet of Sean Wilson, yellow and black of Billy Hamill, and also blue Greg Hancock all down. Let's have another look in slow-mo what happened there. So it was on the outside in white, Sean Wilson who just overcooked the bend, and in yellow and black, Billy Hamill sees what's happened and just tries to lay down, and Greg Hancock has nowhere to go. It looks as though they're receiving attention to the rider there in yellow and black, which is Billy Hamill. Keep our fingers crossed, he was injured, of course, when the screen swap cameras were at the Ulivi Stadium for the Gothenburg Open. And Billy's such an entertaining speedway rider wherever he races. There we see Greg Hancock with his mechanic, Simon Cross, tonight, having a few laps at his machine. So a restart of heat number 19 with Gladdy Awful riders taking their place. Alan Graham red, Greg Hancock blue, Sean Wilson white, and Billy Hamill yellow and black as they speed into that first turn. And this time it is. Billy Hamill makes no mistake who drives around Sean Wilson. So Billy Hamill leads. Sean Wilson out coming under pressure from Alan Graham in second place. And Alan Graham moves swiftly through to second place. So it is Billy Hamill who leads. Alan Graham second. Sean Wilson third. And Greg Hancock who may be feeling the effects of the fall. But there's no such problems for the rider in pole position, which is Billy Hamill. Looking set for three more points. Really such a superb rider these days. So this would end up on 11 points if he can hold on. Also on eight at the moment. And he'll be in double figures at the end of this gold hammer. One more lap to go of heat number 19. Billy Hamill leads from Alan Graham in second place. Sean Wilson third. And it's Billy Hamill who comes up to straighten those wheels in line. He collects the win. Second place is Alan Graham. In third place is Sean Wilson. So there we are, Billy Hamill, a good winner of heat number 19. It's done over so well so far, and of course, if you win this next one, you've got a chance at least of getting on the rostrum. Yeah, I hope uh, I do what I can in, in the last one, of course. But I have gate four, and, and Hans on gate three, and Hans is a good, good gator, so it will be really hard. So we go into heat number 20. There, yellow and black, Gerd Hamburg could be set for second place here in the 1991 gold hammer if he can win this race all questions will be answered in just a few moments time of course he's got his fellow countryman hans nielsen who he partnered so superbly in that test match in malmo for denmark the four lineup for heat number 20 calvin tatum red gate one four four blue gate two hans nielsen white gate three and gert hamburg yellow and black at gate four this ladies and gentlemen boys and girls is heat number 20. There you see, Gerrit Hamburg on 10 points. That will mean he would get 13 if he can win this particular outing. But in the words of Jimmy O'Greaves, it's a funny old game signed and anything can happen in the next four laps here at Dudley Wood. And the England riders just making the nerves tingle for Gerrit Hamburg as they wait to be called into line for this heat number 20.
now they move in. So, across the gate is Tatum, Thorpe, Nielsen and Hamburg. This is each one. The white's red. Up go the tapes. And the first one to show is Hans Nielsen and Gerd Hamburg. And Hamburg is Conrad Nielsen. So Hamburg is there at the moment. And the fans here at Dudleywood are beginning to applaud Gerd Hamburg who comes up to compete one lap of this four-lap race, of course, all ups. And he counted now as Hamburg tries to clinch the silver medal here, the 1991 Golden Hammer. Hamburg leads, Hans Nielsen second, Kelvin Tatum third, two laps gone. And Hamburg set surely to clinch second place. Second in 8.20 so far, Hans Nielsen, who's not had a particularly good night. Calvin Tatum neither, he's in third. One more lap to go of heat number 20. And Kurt Hamburg looking set for the silver medal position here in the Golden Hammer of 1991. Round the front of two bands to the Tony Day, who rides, of course, here for Craig Lee. He comes up and he takes a win. Second place, Hans Nielsen. In third place is Calvin Tatum. So Kurt Hamburg wins heat number 20. And those three points finish. Manage, he finishes on 30 points, and the runners up position, of course, is the 1991 Golden Hammer. So calculators out, sees that there's a runoff for the third position, both tied on 11 points. Jano Peterson is in red, he's off of gate four, and of gate two is Billy Hamill in white. So a runoff for third position, the bronze medal, already we know, Sam Malenko is the winner on 14. Gerd Hamburg is in second place on 13, but third place here is up for grabs. So Yellow Peterson red, Billy Hamill white. This is the runoff for third place. Into that first bend they roll, and it is Yellow Peterson who's there at the moment in red. So Yellow Peterson leads from Billy Hamill second place. So Yellow Peterson just with his nose in front from Billy Hamill second. And Yellow Peterson barring any injuries. Let's keep our fingers crossed for the Tony Day. So unlucky with World Championships. Fractured his arm last year, just before that World Final at Bradford. Two laps gone, and it is Yellow Peterson that leads this runoff for third place from Billy Hamill. Surely now Yellow Peterson set for bronze position. He'll finish on 11 points, so that will be enough of this runoff to clinch that bronze medal. Long, long way clear of Billy Hamill, and barring a fall or unforeseen circumstances with that 500cc machine. Autobahn sponsored rider, of course, from Denmark. It's Jacob Peterson who comes up to collect the win, and more importantly for him, the bronze medal position here in the 1991 Golden Hammer Speedway meeting from Craigie Heath on the outskirts of Birmingham in England. So, congratulations to Jacob Peterson on that particular outing. But it's got to be congratulations to Sudden Sam, Sam Romalenko from the US of A, who's won this title. This coveted title, which has seen eight riders through to the semi-finals of the World Championship take place. And we have to say congratulations to Sam Romalenko. There he is, rider number one with red helmet colour. And this is the bonus race for, and it's over six laps, for just a little bit of cash in the pocket. So Sam Romalenko will be in red, Gert Hamburg in blue, Yellow Peterson in white, and Billy Hamill in yellow and black. This does not, this is the bonus heat. This does not affect the outcome of the meeting, of course. This is just for added prize money. So the green light goes on, up go the tapes, and this bonus final goes underway. And in here, Termalenko, as one would expect, he's going to wrap up the series if he can hold on. So, Sam Romanenko leads. Second place is Billy Hamill. Third place in blue is Gerd Hamburg. And Jano Peterson tailed off in fourth position. So, Sam, Sam, as he's done for so much throughout the course of this evening here at Dudley Wood, is in first place, just dropping that one point throughout the course of the meeting to Jano Peterson in heat number 17. Otherwise unbeaten and looking really in a class of his own and uh, surely a good bet for the world final if he can overcome the Abbotsburg semi-final. So, Dermalenko still leads from in second place there in blue. Sorry, there in white. 
Lily Hamill third place is Gert Hamburg and Yellow Peterson trailing in fourth position. So the bonus finale here at Rayleigh Heath, Dudley won the venue. Right in the front two bends, and it's Sam Romanenko who's going to take this one as well. So Sam Romanenko comes up, looks over his shoulder, quite easily takes away. Takes the flag for one more lap to reserve, of course, six laps to this one. Even catching me out, six laps in the final bonus seat. Sam Romanenko still round the final two bends, and it's Sam Romanenko coming up with the wheelie to win. Congratulations to Sam Romanenko, really has set the example for all to follow here at Dudley Wood in this 1991 Golden Hammer individual speedway meeting. So there we are, the final scores. Sam Romanenko on 15, Gerd Hamburg on 13, Yellow Peterson on 11, that should be Sam Romanenko on 14, not 15. Billy Hamill on 11, Henrik Gustafsson on 10, Gary Havelock on 10, and Alan Graham on nine points. But it's Sam Romanenko they all had to beat and they couldn't do it. He's provided us with us a wheelie as he comes round to play to the gallery after taking the 1991 Gold Hammer. The rest of the scores, Greg Hancock has eight, Hans Nielsen has eight, Joe Screen has seven. Chris Louis started not very good, then came good, but he ended up with five points. A disappointing night for Calvin Tatum, the English Speedway champion. He ends up on four. And Martin Dugard, Sean Wilson and Scott Smith all end up on three points. And Paul Thorpe, a disastrous night with mechanical problems. He ends up in 16th place on just one. So on behalf of Tommy Randers and Transmission and TV Media, this is Clive Fisher as always the screen sport. Say good night and God bless from Craig the Heat in England. Jake Green, blue from the heat of December, it's Kurt Hamburg. Jake Green, red from the 96 Wolves, and the very good at Samuel Wanko.